welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today I wanted to do a quick recipe video, so let's get right to it. taquitos I don't know about y'all but it is so so hot here in Texas I don't want to heat the kitchen up um, I can barely find relief inside the Sun is blazing the humidity is high so I want to do a super simple recipe um, one of my all-time favorites taquitos but they're not always whole food plant-based friendly because if you buy them already pre-made in the store typically they've already been fried with oil and you're just heating them back up so we're gonna do a super simple recipe where I'm gonna put them in the air fryer that I have over here instead of having to heat the oven up and they're gonna be delicious and easy so let's see how they're made I've got a can of black beans here that I'm gonna drain and rinse Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add those to the pot. And then I've got some tomatoes. I'm gonna cut up a couple and put in there uh, to cook with the beans and also a little bit of onion. I'm gonna use half of this for my beans. Just to add a little fresh flavor to the canned beans. And you can use like homemade beans if you want to. But just trying to keep this simple and like I said, try not to heat up the house any more than I have to. So throw those in there. Just using about three cherry tomatoes. You can do this in whatever amount that you want. Same with the onion. Okay. And then I've got half of a not chicken low sodium bouillon cube. So it is a vegan bouillon cube. I'm gonna break up and put in here just for some flavor. And then do this to taste. This is onion powder, a little garlic powder, and paprika. Then I'm just gonna add enough water in here. Like this. Go ahead and mix that up. I'm gonna get this on the stove and cut the veggies up for some fresh pico. And then I'm also going to cut up some lettuce to eat on the side. So I turn the iron high just to get it boiling and then I'll turn it back down uh, just to let it kind of cook and let all of the flavors meld of all the different seasonings that we just added in there. It's just me and the kiddo solo tonight, and he probably won't eat this well, but he does have some spaghetti. And add the rest of this onion. And then I'm just gonna put a jalapeno And for a little personal fresh size pico. You can squeeze a little lime in this. I'm not going to tonight. I just want the fresh flavors of the veggies. Okay, after this is cooked down a little bit, I'm just gonna come in here and mash this up. some of my Mexican rice. There's actually a couple black beans left in there. This is from last night and I'm going to link a um, recipe video for this. I'll put it in the description box below and I'll put it up here um, so that you can watch this and make this rice. It is super delicious. Try it if you want to. You do not have to use the um, rice in this at all. You could just do the beans. 
but I'm just gonna add a little bit in here to add some extra flavor and texture. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the tortillas ready. So I'm gonna take the tortilla and I'm gonna put a little bit of water on it because this helps to keep it from cracking so bad whenever I roll it up. And I already got my um, air fryer out right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and place them seam side down into the air fryer. So, I'm just gonna take it and fill a little bit in the center with this mixture. Then roll it up and put it in the air fryer. Move to the next one. This even works better if you heat it up a bit before trying to roll them up, which I may go ahead and do. Just pop them in the microwave for 15 seconds or so. So that they fold up, because even though I wet this one, it's still cracked a tad. Okay, let's see if that helps some. Put a little bit more on here. Yeah, that's better. See how nicely that rolled up without cracking? Okay, so while those are still cooking in the air fryer, I'm gonna cut an avocado and I'm just gonna eat a little bit of that today I haven't been eating a whole lot of avocado lately but a little bit with this would be nice so I'm gonna do like a fourth and then go ahead and get my lettuce cut up And there are the crispy taquitos. They are nice and crunchy. Hopefully you could hear that. Some gorgeous fresh pico and a quarter of an avocado. And this is a super delicious, easy, low key week night meal that is very tasty. So I hope that this was helpful in some way. If you like what you see, please don't forget to share and subscribe. And I have a lot of things that I post on Instagram that I don't necessarily post here on YouTube. So you can follow me at Plant Based Storm on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, thanks so much for watching.